Welcome everyone back to your weekly weather updates. And this evening we'll have a look at the GFS, GM, ESIM2F and GFS ensembles and we'll have a look at the yellow warnings for wind we do have for the next few days. We've got currently quite a windy uh, and rainy pattern over the next few days with areas of low pressure coming in. I did highlight this potential for a named storm. It doesn't look like it's going to be named uh, but still quite significant conditions with that. Beyond that towards 7 to 10 day time frame we could be having a look at some more high pressure which could bring quite mild spring like temperatures or it could start to bring things a little bit colder again towards sort of wintry conditions. We'll have a look at that later in the video. Do make sure though, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you do like and subscribe as it really does help me out. But we'll now run through the GFS and you can see we've got these areas of low pressure coming in off this very strong jet stream. And we have, the, we have weather fronts out in the Atlantic and they are hitting uh, the cooler air and we're getting some heavy rain. You can see where that boundary is between the air masses. We've got heavy rain moving into western areas at the moment and will be spreading across the whole of the country through tomorrow. And you can see those lows spiral up and we do see some very strong winds overnight into Thursday. That's where we could be seeing the strongest winds, maybe 60, 70 miles per hour potentially, putting in a very strong northwesterly wind. And now it's not going to feel particularly mild under this. You see there's quite cold air aloft, not cold enough really for any snow, um, but still cold enough to give highs of only around high single digits and feeling pretty cold and bitter in the heavy rain uh, and wind. But as we move through, you can see these low pressures do stay around and we continue getting that sort of influence. But towards the weekend into early next week, we do start to see uh, high pressure build in. And as this high pressure does build in, we do start to pull in a bit of an easterly wind. Now it's not a mild easterly wind, or it's not particularly cold easterly wind. It'll feel probably quite spring-like under there, but nothing too substantial. As we move into the longer term, you see high pressure still is around, so dry, but still maintaining a sort of a slack easterly wind. You see some cold rate is coming to our north and our east. This would be quite a cold pattern in the winter, but given it's now coming into end of March by this time frame, there isn't that much uh, cold air really. And you can see it's generally uh, cooler than average uh, for the UK. If we now have a look at the GM run, you can see we've currently got low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. Again, it's very similar to the uh, GFS. Uh, as we head towards the start of next week, we do see high pressure build in. It doesn't fully build in uh, initially, and we do pull in quite a cold northerly wind, um, quite bitterly cold northerly wind actually with upper air getting to minus, minus 7, minus 8 degrees which could produce some snow flurries here or there. Beyond that high pressure does build in and again does build to our north. We do pull in quite a cold easterly wind that would be cold enough to produce snow, especially overnight uh, not probably cold enough to bring any low lying snow to anywhere other than hills um, but you know we could be seeing some settling snow over some mountains and hilly areas, and potentially seeing some falling snow even to lower levels. Very interesting with the GM as a pattern. We're seeing both GFS and GM, that high pressure moving towards Greenland, and we could be seeing another sort of uh, taste of winter. If we now have a look at the ECMWF, see if it follows a similar pattern again, very similar over the next few days with these areas of low pressure, heavy rain, high pressure does build in, it tries to go to our north, well, the ECMWF, it really just sits over the top of the country, and we pull in generally a cool easily wind but nothing substantially cold. If we now have a look at the temperature 8 and 50 HPN precipitation you can see generally below average we've got a spike over the next couple of days with the precipitation that warm front um, as the Atlantic is moving in. Beyond that though temperatures are reasonably below average. It does come up to around average again but there's the split really. It's probably uh, with higher pressure you see ensemble members going low in precipitation. Cold ensemble members and mild ensemble members, just really in that wind direction. This time of the year, wind direction is really everything. Could get down to minus 10 H, 850 HP, or could get up to plus 10 or above. Plus 10 could give us high teens, maybe even 20 degrees. Minus 10 could give you daytime highs of only 3 or 4 degrees. So, big contrast. Um, it be interesting to see really uh, what happens with those and how the ensemble members and models uh, resolve that. If you have a look at the 2 meter temperature, you can see that split. You can see around and next few days highs around 9 10 degrees so average and then the possibility of maybe 15 16 degrees maybe even higher with high pressure in more warm air and then maybe even colder again with four or five degrees on some on some members so be very interesting to see what that happens with that high pressure it's quite unknown at this stage and it's just really one to watch we'll now finally have a look at the uk weather warnings and you can see we've got a yellow warning out for northwestern areas uh, of scotland and then we've got a widespread yellow warning for the whole of england and wales over the next two days 
If we have a look at that, if we look at the further details, 50 to 55 miles an hour are possible in inland areas, 60 to 70 miles an hour on coasts and hills, especially in the west. It's quite high likelihood and um, reasonably high impact, so potential that could be moved up to an amber over the next day or so, um, and it'll be really one to watch, just uh, see how that low uh, comes to the UK. Getting its weather fronts right now, but the strongest winds look like Wednesday into Thursday for that, so make sure you do uh, have a look at the forecast and uh, make sure you stay safe uh, overnight into Thursday. But anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this time, and I'll see you again for another video soon.